Well, do you have a, a gap right at the core of economic policy? I'm talking about the shadow mm. chancellor here. We're hearing he's lost his mojo. He predicted a triple well. dip recession. It didn't happen. Is Ed Balls really not kind of punching above his weight anymore? Well, listen, I think there's uh, no doubt, not least on the basis of what Ed Miliband said this morning on the Andrew Moore programme, that Ed is going to be an absolutely key, central, and I think very positive figure in terms of taking that case to the Conservatives about why they've flatlined the economy for three years, but also setting out the kind of structural changes we need to the economy so that we can grow and earn our way to higher living standards in the future. Mm, but he's lost his mojo, is what I said. He predicted that triple dip recession. There wasn't even forgive a double. Me. There stories, wasn't even a double dip. He was no, hoping forgive me, for it. Stories come and go in the newspapers. I think what's important is having a plan for the kind of economy that we want, having the intellectual rigor and policy strength to actually be able to devise the solutions for the challenges the country faces. And in that sense, I think we've got a team that can take us to victory. Mm, but it's true, I mean, it's true you two don't always see eye to eye, isn't it? Yeah, you had a stand-up row, didn't worked, you, at the, at the very least, about Europe? Listen, I've worked with Ed for 20 years. In fact, I've worked with both Eds for 20 yeah. years. In that sense, one of the resolutions we made when we moved into opposition in 2010, because we had front row seats at the TBGBs, was we were never going to allow any differences, any uh, personality issues, to get in the way of our shared responsibility. But behind closed doors, Which you is, must speak as you see. I mean, you know, you know well, each other so well, I you've think, grown up politically but, together. But I think, it's a, I think it's a good thing that as a team you can debate, discuss and then decide and move forward. That's what we've done. That's why I think actually we haven't done what previous generations of Labour politicians have done when they went into opposition which is to form a circular firing squad and about a decade get their act together. The fact that we are ahead in the opinion polls, the fact we are making plans for the kind of country that we think Labour could deliver after 2015, I think is testimony to the extent to which we've shown we will work together in the national interest. Okay.